So I'm Michael Matus. I'm with Get Gifted Inc. My name is Justin Hemisaf, co-founder of Fan Food. What's up, everyone? My name is Arham. I'm one of the co-founders of Bio2. My name is Jared Barnes, co-founder and CEO of Compass. My name is Maya McClendon. I'm the CEO and founder of Time Out. Stay entrepreneurial. Stay risk-oriented. Bet on yourself. I think there's a lot of questions about what blockchain actually is. Working with influencers is key and pivotal to launching their products. Our business model is B2B SaaS contracts, targeting schools with medical assistance budgets, athlete funds, and donors who want to support the athlete experience. There's a certain climate and time within, uh, within athletics, collectively. And I have a large on our mind. That's, that's a high point of interest for us. And uh, recent suicides in our athletic community uh, three in particular, that's also heavy on our mind. So, without further ado, any the opportunity, uh, y'all give it up for Cycle and Gifted. <laughs> to go out and take over the apparel world and the volleyball, so VG America, we have $5,000 for you. We have $10,000 for VO2. And we've added a little bit to the math. Mental wellness, enough with suicide, timeout, congratulations, $20,000. Working with ASU as a beta tester and as a pilot partner would mean some real credibility behind what we're doing um, and it allow us to roll out at a, a major scale. I think Arizona is always an industry leader in entrepreneurship, so being able to pilot test our product with the athletes at Arizona State University would mean the world to us, and the money would help us develop an iOS app, which I think is the best way for fans and athletes to connect compared to a desktop app. Uh, obviously there's money at stake, but uh, I think the opportunity to test with real athletes at ASU uh, would be even more. It, it really excites me to see our young people and, and just their innovation, their, their ideas, the entrepreneurship, but just to be able to have a platform to present. Uh, I think that this is what ASU speaks to. Their opportunities here are to build for the future. And so those are tangible, those are real. And for them to be able to see it come to fruition and have these opportunities to present, it's what the reason why they came here. And so they're living proof that once they finish here at ASU or along their journey at ASU, they are invested in and then the future is theirs.